Project Diary, I will teach you how to grow passion fruit from seed. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. As you can see I've got my weekly food waste box, uh, so today I'm going to look through it and see what I can grow. Now as you can see I've got some lemons, uh, I've got a really squashed apricot, uh, some mint, um, some peaches, uh, an aubergine, uh, but mostly today I'm going to concentrate on these. Now these are passion fruit. Um, now if you know anything about passion fruit, you don't actually eat them when they're like this. Uh, what you need to do is wait until they're all crinkly and, and sort of raisin like, and then they become really juicy uh, and at their best. So what I'm going to do is take this out of the wrapper and leave it on the side for a bit and I'll come back to that in a week or so. So here they are two weeks later. As you can see they're really wrinkly and they're just ready to harvest now. Uh, so as these were from food waste, uh, the skin had actually pierced. Um, so these are going to be really dry and a bit mouldy. Um, I wouldn't eat these or suggest eating these from food waste anyway. But as you can see there's no actual uh, juice or moisture inside there. And it's all nice and dry for me to take the seeds out. Here's a couple on a knife already, so I'm just going to put these down there. So I'm just going to gently take them out one at a time uh, and place them back on the plate. I will put them on tissue paper later on to dry them out. But uh, yeah, you can see it's really easy to get the seeds out this way. Now if you're trying this under usual circumstances, you just get a spoon and eat the juicy fruit from the inside and spit out the pips. Now I hear some of you saying, but I don't like eating passion fruit. So my reply would be, why would you spend all the time growing them if you're not going to eat them? <laughs> The next step is just spread them out on some kitchen roll. Uh, now you just want them nicely spread out so they're not touching each other. Um, and just leave them there for an hour or two. And they'll be perfectly dry. Now I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera, if it can zoom in enough. But I really like these seeds. They come with this really sort of pitted texture that I haven't seen anywhere else. Uh, so yeah, these are my favourite little seeds. So I'm using my ever faithful chocolate eclair box as a propagator. So I'm just going to get the seeds, I'm going to put about uh, three in each section. Once you've done that you just need to push it in slightly with your finger. You don't want to go too deep. Probably about two or three times the thickness of the, the seed itself. And then just push the soil over so it's nicely covered. Now I never cut any drainage holes in these but you can if you want but uh, just water it in gently make sure it's not too sodden. Then all you need to do is just put the lid down and keep this in a nice warm dry place. Now as these seeds come with a really hard shell uh, this will actually take up to three to four weeks to germinate and push through to the soil. But as you can see, they've just started to emerge. Here they are a few days after. And this is just ten days in. Once they've started to emerge, they really start growing quickly. So this is them two weeks in. They're now getting a bit too big for this pot, so I'm going to transfer them into their own separate pots. So you just get a yoghurt pot and a braddle. Um, punch some holes in because these are going to need some drainage now. So just make sure the hole goes all the way through and a couple around the edges. So next up just fill the pot with multi-purpose compost and use a spoon to dig a hole uh, about an inch deep. Then using the spoon, prise out the seedling as gently as you can and try not to break any of the roots. Then place the seedling into the hole that you've just made and push it down gently to try and make sure that all the air pockets are out.
Then all you have to do is water it in and repeat the same process for the others. Here's the progress four weeks after the seedlings emerged from the soil and again after six weeks. So here we are eight weeks later. Uh, all six seeds did actually turn into uh, to plants. Um, this one was a slightly late bloomer, so he's a lot more smaller than the others. And unfortunately this one was attacked by something. Um, I just woke up the other day and something had just snapped all the leaves off. So I'm not actually sure what, maybe it was an earwig or a slug, but um, everything else seems to be really successful. These are going really strong. Now I'm going to end the video here because all that happens is the leaves get a lot bigger uh, and the stem will just get stronger and thicker. Um, so nothing will happen for the next few months. But I will do a follow up video so don't forget to subscribe if you liked all the, all the update videos. Um, and that's about it. Good luck growing your own passion fruit. Take care. If you'd like to keep up to date on all my future releases don't forget to subscribe. Here's some links to some of my other videos. If you'd like to check out more, go to www.youtube.com forward slash Project Diaries HQ. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.